one. Hello, you guys, and welcome to the Women's Cave. And normally there are women's. Yes, that is incorrect. I know. I said women's. Yeah, but whatever. It's not, it's not important because it's my cave and I make up the words the way I feel like. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, welcome to the Women's Cave. And I'm Winona, and there is a missing Jade. You know, I'm starting to feel that she just doesn't like me anymore. Because she just does not <laughs> Okay, honestly, I got to tell y'all the truth because I don't want y'all anyone to be angry. Jade is taking care of a client. We had a last minute client thing happen. And yeah, for all of y'all who didn't know we have clients, we have clients, but we are very exclusive. We only take five every six months. I'm, I'm sorry if we didn't invite you. Just email us and we'll invite you the next time. Okay, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that. And then Jade's going to get angry. But anyway, moving on. That was my banter part, y'all. That was completely my banter. It's bad. It is horrible. We have books. Yes, we wrote books. There's 10 of them. We have, and I thought divorce was bad. And if I was in studio, I'd be like, hey, there's a book. And then there's a book. And then there, it's like, you know, Oprah with everyone gets a book, except I'm not giving books because I refuse to pay for shipping. Anyway, and then there's, and I thought divorce, and I thought divorce was bad. And I thought being grown up was easy. And I thought I could juggle it all. And I thought I did my journey alone. And I thought I had it all figured out. Hollywood, I'm still talking to you. I want my own TV show. Yes, I have my own. Wait, Jade's not here? You can't hear me. Okay. Reality TV show. I have my own reality TV show. <laughs> you serious, but that's not important. Uh, and then there's, and I thought the workbook, the misfit guides, way that leads the crooked footprints, the misfit guides, the LBD soirees, and cocktails. Just in case you guys needed a good cocktail, guess what? I got a book for that. Oh, wait, I, I think I'm missing one. And I thought I did my journey alone. Oh, and I thought I was the one. That's the one we I always forget because he never is the one. That's what it is. Anyway, you can find all of those things on Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, and AndWeThought.com. It says, Jade, I'm going to make a big to-do. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Announcement, people. Yeah, I have my own reality TV show. You should watch it just right in life on Amazon.com and Channel 18 in Sacramento. Season two starts in August. And since I'm the only person here and blabbering on and on and on, I think it's time to uh, chat with the guests because I'm boring like that. So wonderful guests, would you like to interview and interview yourself? Ooh, that's a new name. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah, hiya. Hi, Jade. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, I'm Joe Howard. I'm Tina Barry. Yeah, and um, together we host Verbose, which is a spoken word night in Manchester in the UK. And we're quite excited at the moment because we've just won an award for our night, which is a saboteur award for best regular spoken word night. Yeah, in the UK. In the UK, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and yeah, we've got a, an event happening tonight as well. We've got a flash fiction workshop with um, Tanya Hirschman. Yeah, Dr. Tanya Hirschman. Dr. Tanya Hirschman, yeah. Because we're all about women, you know, showing off if they have a title. I think that's important. I want to I haven't got one. No. Can I just call oh, no. myself Dr. Oh. Wilnona without any credits? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm sorry. Continue with your introduction and let me not inter interrupt anymore. Okay, you have a... No, I mean, we, we're pretty much introduced now oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's, that's you guys all right <laughs> i apologize so um since you guys have a spoken word night what made you want to start it i'm gonna do one of my famous questions and i'm gonna go to two parts not three so the first one is what made you want to start it and then the second one is what does spoken word mean to you okay well we we didn't start it actually it was run by somebody else called Sarah Claire Conlon. And then she decided that she needed a break. And she said, yeah, this is going to be our last ever verbose. And we were like, no, we love that night so much. And we're like, can we do it? Can we do it? And, and she was like, yeah, you do it. So, yeah, so, so we took it over in September. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's lovely. It's a really lovely night, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It is. Um, spoken word. I think, I think spoken word is great because it's a way for people to get their work out there without having to get past a load of gatekeepers, without having to like land on the slush pile and then hope that the right person reads them or whatever. You can just go and read your stuff out or perform your stuff to an audience and then you get direct feedback from people who are there and some, sometimes people connect with it and they say something that means a lot to you. 
you know, or helps you to develop it. So uh, that's one of the best things about it, I think. Yeah, so it's a very, it's a, just a room full of people really encouraging each other to do well and supporting each other and, and getting drunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the second part is one of my favourite parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, well, it helps the atmosphere. Put it that way. <laughs> yeah, it helps people with their nerves. A lot of people, like if they've never read or done any kind of performance before, it's kind of terrifying. But it's just it's nice because everyone is willing everybody else to do well. There's no sort of competitiveness because yeah, everybody's completely different. Mm. Yeah, because somebody came to our night recently and they said, oh my goodness, this is like the opposite of stand-up comedy. Because in stand-up comedy, it can be quite sort of, everyone's trying to take each other down. Whereas I feel like spoken word's very nurturing. And, yeah, really. And, yeah, that, that you're always trying to big each other up and support each other. And everybody listens, you know, they actually really pay attention. Um, and yeah, it's, it's yeah, a, it's a lovely it's thing. Yeah. All right, so I hear a lot that written poetry is the conscience of society. So if written poetry is the conscience, is spoken word kind of like the bullhorn? <laughs> I don't know. I think it depends on the You're poet. Very American, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a bullhorn is. No. It's, it's, oh. I mean, that that's... Yeah, we... We don't really have those words. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you mean like some somebody who's just like getting it out there? Kind of yeah. Thing? Um. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Maybe I said it wrong. Oh. 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 Not the eyes. Not the dead. Sorry. Um, by the horns. No. Like. Um. Maybe I said it wrong. I probably said it wrong. So let me try this again. You know how you do marches and you have the thing and you talk it to it and it just amplifies it? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, a loudspeaker. Yeah, yeah it's, that's it's, the one I was okay. going for. It's but then there's okay. actually like a horn that you can squeeze and that blasts. Okay. And that's like a bullhorn. But whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moving on. So, yeah. Um, no. I think it depends on the poet, basically. Some people are like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mostly it's, um, you know, people dealing with the thoughts inside their head and putting them on paper and then sharing them with other people. Yeah, I think, I think that it's very good for your mental health. I think a lot of people benefit from that side of it. Exactly. Yeah. It's a great way to put your anger, your oppression, your depression, everything on paper and then give it a voice. And it's kind of, I don't know, like to me, it's kind of like acting. It's like taking my own words and then writing and reading them on a, on a stage as a script and seeing mm -hmm. how the audience goes. Like, oh, like they, I they a woman we had a couple of months ago who just split up with her boyfriend that day. He just dumped her that day, hadn't he? And then, yeah. And then she wrote this really fantastic poem and brought all her friends down with her. And she stood up and read this poem, and then everybody was really cheering her at the end and yeah it felt like a brilliant yeah a very cathartic moment for, yeah, for her for her and like all of the people <laughs> in the room as well <laughs> yeah, it's like i remember that people. feeling i do i remember it it was horrible that is awesome so what do you think made you just like an outstanding spoken word what do you think is unique about verbose um i think i think that we're very welcoming in verbose. Like, um, there's no sort of ego there. So when, when somebody comes to our night, we just, everyone that walks in the door, we're like, oh, hi, what's your name? How are you doing? You know, and, and like trying to make everybody feel comfortable. And we're trying to get headliners that are, you know, a really diverse mixture of people and different styles and stuff. So, and we have three headliners every time um who are like published writers or people who are like seasoned performers and then we have like about um 12 to 15 people on the open mic as well so it's like divided into three sections which means that it's got quite a nice structure it keeps people's attention through the night because we have like you know it's in short there so you don't have longer than three minutes for an open micer so they have to like keep it short mm -hmm. and it means that you get a massive variety of voices on, on the stage 
Um, and lots of breaks so that nobody's sitting there just, you know, thinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's important you just have lots of breaks because there's a bar and you, yeah, need, yeah. you need a break. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Comes to, like, Find the person that you've, you've just heard and, and tell them that yeah. you like what they've heard. Yeah, yeah. So people can socialize and get off with each other, that kind of thing. Oh, wonderful. This sounds like an amazing community, like almost familial night. I said that right. Yeah, familial. Yeah, night. Yeah. yeah, there we go. You know, I'm speaking with yeah. England, so I'm like worried about my English because, I mean, you guys like invented the language. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... no, no no i mean uh, like um yeah we're worried about our language as well don't worry yeah. i just said get off with each other and you didn't know what that meant did you no <laughs> no if you get okay. off with someone it's like you like kiss each other and like you know get okay. it together like my mind went there and i was like mm -mm, it sounds too cute and proper to mean that no that's not <laughs> <laughs> no no it does mean that okay we actually our writers to get off with each other. <laughs> yeah, it works. No, great emotion. And then when you get dumped, even better emotion. So, I mean, it works twice as good. Yeah. They're going to keep coming, mm. writing happy and sad poems. All right, so I should probably call this quits at this point because, yeah, my time has run up, out, whatever. Okay, okay. Um, but I want to know when you guys have your events, what day? And then my narcissism has a question and then I'm done. Okay, so uh, our events are on the fourth Monday of every month and uh, we start at 7.30. It's at Fallow Cafe in Fallowfield in Manchester. England. UK. Yes. We have a Manchester here? There's no J. Yeah, you do. You do. We do. Always pops up if, you, if you're trying to buy an air ticket from yeah. Manchester. There's like one in... Where is it? It's um, Alabama or something. No, is that, that really? Birmingham? Somewhere it doesn't pop up on my Google. I put it in Manchester and it immediately goes UK. And then it said Stansted. Yeah, but there, there's definitely a Manchester somewhere. Because yes, our Manchester's okay. better yeah. than Manchester. <laughs> I'm sure it's in the UK. I mean, mine is the weather because I hate y'all's weather. I'm sorry. I just hate yeah, it. Yeah, well, we, we hate it too, summer. but you know what? We've had a really awesome summer. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been really warm. Look so how Really? <laughs> really? Is the sun out? Yeah. I'll be yeah, there in six now. Today, okay. but we've had about a month of sunshine, which is incredible for mm. here. So We've had a month good. of rain, and we haven't seen the sun. Yeah. Our first week seeing the sun. And I'll be there in five weeks, so I'm sure the sun is going hiding now, so... Never mind. Are you coming to the UK? Yeah, I'll be in Yorkshire in, in July for about a week. Oh, right. Cool. That's not far away. No. Yeah, whereabouts in Yorkshire are you going to? Bradford, England. Bradford? <laughs> I don't know Bradford? what a Bradford is, but everyone I call, because like, I know we go over every six months to England, like for book tour and right. poetry and stuff. So like everyone I call, they're like, in Bradford? No, I'm not coming. I'm like, what? <laughs> You guys follow us like everywhere. They're like, but Bradford? And I'm like, what's wrong with Bradford? It's all right. Don't, don't answer that on air. Don't answer that on air. It's not a very big place. That's probably why they're saying that. Because they probably uh, think, oh, but we would go to London or, you know, some a large city. But Bradford's kind of a, a medium-sized yeah. town. Yeah. Well, you know, if you get bored when you're in Bradford, look us up. We're not that far away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're oh, only we about will. an hour. Bradford, yeah. We will. It'll be better than. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Come to Manchester, we'll take you to the pub. Yeah, we'll, we'll yes! get you out. Yes. We'll oh, show you you see how time. excited I got? I messed up my camera angle. I'm like, yes, drinking. <laughs> 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 All right, so I need to get off from here. So, um, tell everyone where they can find you online, and then how they can like follow you, and um, uh, where they can send congratulations for the Saboteur Award because America, we need to get on that. They need some more congratulations. Thank okay. you. Brilliant. And so, so at Verbose MCR, and that's on Facebook and Twitter. It's just at Verbose MCR, MCR for Manchester. Yeah. Okay. And, and, yeah, we don't have a website. We just, okay. you know, thought we'd simple. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you can get it's a familiar feel. Email us. All right. Definitely will. And they're very responsive, you guys. So if you email and you're there and you want to be there uh, and you want to speak on the fourth Monday, not speak, 
don't speak, read poetry. Definitely read poetry, don't speak. That's boring. Yeah, or, or stories. stories. We do lots, we have lots of short stories as well. Oh. Or true stories. We yeah. love a true story. Yeah, or oh, you could yeah. do something, you know, slightly off the wall. That would be okay. That's interesting. Now I'm sad. I, I am there the fourth Monday, but I'd rather be in Ibiza. So I'm booking a plane ticket out. I'm sad. No. I was like, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. And then I was like, no, there's a visa. Yeah, I'm going to a visa. I'm sorry. God. No, wrap us up. Yeah. We're, we're really we're a really great night, but you know, we're not a visa. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap us up, you guys. So I am Wilnona and Jade is missing today that I'm so sad. Not really. I got to do so much more fun stuff. And I'm one of the 12 and 15 and I thought ladies, man, it keeps growing. So check everything that we do out on andwethought.com. And please, you guys, go to the ladies tab when you go to and we thought and go down to the middle of the page and support the three charities that we proudly support. And since we have someone from UK, I'm going to have to give a, a, another shout out to Enough Abuse UK. So feel free to support them, you guys. No pressure. Um, <laughs> So um, you can find everything we do there and we'd like you to remember that wisdom is all around you if you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love you guys from Winona and the Missing Jade and hold on I'm doing this because I have my nails halfway done people. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.